Hello, my Biblio darlings, and welcome to Bibliothesia. And Bibliothesia is where I bring stories to life through reading them. So with that, today's story is Mr. Happy, and it's written by Roger Hargreaves. I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Mally, and it's so wonderful to see you again. Now, before I read the story, Mr. Happy, let's remind our bodies that we're safe right here and right now. And we're going to do that through a deep breathing exercise, and I'm going to share with you some jokes so you can feel relaxed. So with that, let's start off with a deep breathing exercise and pretend you have a balloon inside your tummy. And as you, as, as you inhale deep breaths, we're going to pretend that balloon is getting bigger and bigger. So let's make that pretend balloon bigger and count for one, two, three, four. And now hold the breath for mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. And now blow wind out of your mouth for eight. Oh, that deep breathing exercise is such a beautiful reminder that you're safe right here and right now. Oh, pardon me, I burped. And I also invite you to do the deep breaths, the, the do, do the deep breathing exercise with me and also when you wake up just after you wake up do a deep breathing exercise and at lunchtime and just before you go to sleep and do this for a long while like maybe a month and see if you're feeling calmer more of the time and let me know so we did the deep breathing exercise and now i'm going to reach over for the joke book because when we laugh we automatically relax so here's three jokes Knock, knock. Who's there? Dare. Dare who? They're going to love your new hat. <laughs> Get it? They're going to love your new hat? Dare? Okay. Maybe you don't. Okay, next one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Amelia. Amelia who? Amelia package. Who's it for? Amelia package. Oh, I guess that's I'm mailing a package. Who's it for? Amelia package. I don't get that one. If you could explain to me, I would really appreciate it. Okay, here's a third joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Buddha. Buddha who? Buddha slice of cheese on that sandwich. <laughs> like put another slice of cheese on that sandwich. Alrighty. Well, the great thing with jokes is, is you can laugh with me or you can laugh at me as I'm trying to explain the joke. I just want you to laugh so you can relax your body. And with that, let's read Mr. Happy. Now, Mr. Happy is all yellow and he has a big smile on his face and even his eyes look happy. And this story is written by Roger Hargreaves. On the other side of the world, where the sun shines hotter than here, and where the trees are a hundred feet tall, there's a country called Happy Land. And you might very well expect everybody who lives in Happy Land is as happy as the day is long. Wherever you go, you see smiling faces all around. It's such a happy place that even the flowers seem to smile in Happy Land. Look at these beautiful flowers and they're all smiling. Aww. All the animals in Happy Land are, in happy, land are happy again, are happy as well. If you've never seen a smiling mouse, or a happy cat, or dog, or even a smiling worm, go to Happy Land. Look at the smiling worm. Oh, this is a story about someone who lived in Happy Land, who happened to be called Mr. Happy. Well, that's fitting. Mr. Happy was fat and round and happy. He lived in a small cottage beside a lake at the foot of a mountain and close to the woods. Look at that. Sure looks like it. One day, Mr. Happy was walking in those woods near his home. He came across something which was really very exciting. There in the trunk of one of the very tall trees was a door. Not a very large door, but it was certainly a door. A small, narrow, yellow door. 
Wow, look at that. It's in the tree. Definitely a door. I wonder who lives here, thought Mr. Happy, and he turned the handle of that small, narrow yellow door. The door was unlocked, and it swung open quite easily. Just inside the small, narrow yellow door was a small, narrow winding staircase leading down. Mr. Happy squeezed his rather large body through the rather thin doorway and began to walk down the stairs. The stairs went round and round and down and down and round and down and down and round. Finally, after a long time, Mr. Happy reached the bottom of the staircase. He looked around and saw in front of him another small, narrow door. But this one was red. Oh, and it looks like there's a green, green floor mat in front of the red door. Mr. Happy knocked on the door. Who's there? said a voice. It was a sad, squeaky sort of voice. Who's there? Mr. Happy slowly pushed open the red door. There, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked exactly like Mr. Happy, except that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, he looked downright miserable. Hello, said Mr. Happy. I'm Mr. Happy. Oh, are you really? sniffed the person who looked like Mr. Happy but wasn't. Well, my name is Mr. Miserable, and I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable? asked Mr. Happy. Because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you like to be happy like me? asked Mr. Happy. I'd give anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable. But I'm so miserable, I don't think I could ever be happy, he, he added miserably. Mr. Happy made up his mind quickly. Follow me, he said. Where to? asked Mr. Miserable. Don't argue, said Mr. Happy, and he went out through the small, narrow red door. Mr. Miserable hesitated and then followed. Oh, there's Mr. Happy looking happy and Mr. Miserable looking miserable. Up and up the winding staircase they went. Up and up and round and round and up and round and round and up and up until they came out into the woods. Follow me, said Mr. Happy again, and they both walked through the woods back to Mr. Happy's cottage. Mr. Miserable stayed in Mr. Happy's cottage for quite a while, and during that time the most remarkable thing happened. Because he was living in Happy Land, Mr. Miserable very, very slowly stopped being miserable and started to be happy. His mouth stopped turning down at the corners and very, very slowly it started turning up at the corners and eventually Mr. Miserable did something that he'd never done in his whole life. He smiled and then he chuckled which turned into a giggle which became a laugh. A big, booming, hearty, huge, giant, large, enormous laugh. And Mr. Happy was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. And both of them laughed and laughed. They laughed until their sides hurt and their eyes watered. It's the best kind of laugh to have. Mr. Miserable and Mr. Happy laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. They went outside and they still laughed. And because they were laughing so much, Everybody who saw them started laughing as well. Even the birds in the, in the trees started to laugh at the thought of somebody called Mr. Miserable who just couldn't stop laughing. And that's really the end of the story, except to say that if you ever feel as miserable as Mr. Miserable used to, you know exactly what to do, don't you? Just turn your mouth up at the corners. Go on. What did you think of Mr. Happy? I wasn't expecting Mr. Happy to find Mr. Miserable. And it sounds like they became really good friends. Mr. Happy took Mr. Miserable to Happy Land, and then both of them were laughing so hard that their sides hurt. Now, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I have some really good friends. And sometimes when we get together, we laugh so hard that it hurts to breathe and our sides hurt. And my side hurts so much that I hold my tummy. Those are the best belly laughs ever. And remember, when we laugh, it helps our body to relax. So let's finish off today by, by my reading you three jokes and then doing a deep breathing exercise. So I'm just reaching over for the, for the book and 
I'm going to read to you two knock-knock jokes. Knock-knock, who's there? Cauliflower. Cauliflower who? Cauliflower by any other name and it still smells as sweet. Cauliflower. Oh, I don't understand that. Please explain below, but here's the next joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cousin. Cousin who? Cousin, cousin instead of cake, you brought me pie. <laughs> Get it? Cousin instead of cake, you brought me pie. Okay. Well, with that, let's do the deep breathing exercise. So pretend you have a balloon inside your tummy. And we're going to make it bigger as you count for... One, two, three, four. Now hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And now blow out like you're blowing out birthday candles for eight. What a good reminder that deep breathing exercise is that we're safe right here and right now. And thank you so much for joining me in today's fun. And please tap the adult that's beside you and remind them to click on the subscribe button and on the bell notification and you'll be reminded of when there's new, new stories. So with that, thank you so much for joining me in today's fun. And until next time, bye!